The second this comes inconvenient to me, I'm rage quitting. I'm just here for the adventure, the thrill. I don't even know where to start really. I just really threw on the camera. And the fact that it's working right now is honestly a miracle. Been doing a lot and moving a lot. Things are changing, things are rearranging. And it's happening right in front of my eyes and all happening at once. But at the same time, very, very slowly. And I'm like, oh my gosh, is this it? Is this the new, the new, new that I was talking about? Yes. Just about 6.30 in the morning. I have work today, obviously. But I woke up at five. I made my bed, did my journaling, did my foot stretches, my back workout. I did some dishes just now, and I'm gonna wrap it towards getting ready to go to work now. The actual part where I take a shower and everything. I feel like now that I made my mind to show you that that's what I did, I kind of feel like I should have shown you that that's what I did. But I didn't want the time to take extra long to do all those things, so just believe me when I say I did all those things. Today I work long enough to get a lunch, which is... This is fire! But also, wow, do I not feel like being up there for that long of a time. Usually when I feel like that, most days, it really just means that I don't want to go up there so early. And then later in the shift when I'm feeling better, more energized, more of the daytime, more of the right-minded people come through or whatever. And then it'd be time to go. And then I'd be ready to come back. And you'd think, oh, cool. I come back early, get to take a nap. No, never feel like wanting to take a nap. In fact, being the most hyped at that point from the esteem of getting off of work so then I don't know what to do with myself. If I set my intention now I might have a better chance at guiding myself back to where I want to be what I want to be doing but sometimes time happens without you like really trying so it's my own adventure in which I can choose. Today is gonna be a good day. So it's really going to be kind of cool until by the time I leave, which is going to be extra, not extra hot, but it's going to be kind of warm. The solar eclipse. Why are we just not talking about that? I feel like it was just a couple of days ago that people were like, oh yeah, I'm going to buy me some special sunglasses to stare at the sun. There's a good chance I will be at work when that John happens. And there's a even higher chance that we'll all pause to uh, to watch that John. I wanted to go grocery shopping, but the way I don't have my card with me. <sighs> Might as well turn on some beats. <clears throat> Why do I have the hiccups? That is so annoying. <sighs> Let's go. Take a shower. I really acknowledge my hair being straight. 
Now, before you judge me, I bought it myself. Relax. So, of course, I just woke up from a nap. Just is a strong word. I've been up for a smooth long time what am i doing now practicing getting back into the filming habit i i'm not gonna lie i do not make enough time to build my film game like work is taking so much of my time it's kind of disgusting but at the same time loving the income loving being barely able to financially support myself really not at all different topic but uh yeah what did i come on here to say i don't have anything to add i just want to sit here and look pretty and show you my hair the way i've <coughs> the way i've needed to reband these top ones at least twice by now all right we're getting to the tail end of this hairstyle even being hairstyleable like my hair is extremely puffy right now extremely puffy it's it's giving medium puff you can't tell it because it's professionally straightened and when i say they did it all right, I'm still in the process of uploading the business cards that I've gathered so far up onto my uh, my community page. I just, just today scanned the business cards, so they should be rolling out soon. Sorry for the delay, I'm only one person. I'm doing like the job of like six interns at least, at least. I promoted my last video and hopefully we'll get this video out mm, tomorrow. I don't know what this is gonna end up being because there's no structure. I've really just been filming what I can film and praying to God it makes sense later. <laughs> but if it don't, that's genuinely how my life is. Like it's not like glitz and glam, perfection, oh sky, you 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 always on it, like you you always got it, like no I don't. Girl, I'm just as lost and confused as you. My day in, day out life be just as stressful as you probably think it is. Like it is, like it is actually. Let's talk about the real stuff. Let's talk about how <sighs> I lost, lost my card. Yeah, my big money spender and don't know where that John went. Like I have an inkling that somebody snatched it off me. Is what it is, but major inconvenience. I'm taking it as a sign to change my little bank card cover, my little uh, sticker that I had on it because it was giving broke energy. Every time I handed out that card, and folks were loving it too, they loved the little, um, everybody hates Chris. <laughs> but no, the energy was giving that. So once my next um, bank card comes in the mail, which has been a few days, you know, I really should look on the bright side. The bright side is that I have money. The bright side is that I figured out how to go to the bank, which is where I got this pin and pull out money without my um, card ready and available like that. Very inconvenienced because always living cash based like that, but at the same time, grasp a new understanding of how far deep into this technology I am uh, entangled with. And that kind of sucked because I, <laughs> I was off that Friday I was paid and felt like I couldn't spend my money. Not that I had anything particular to spend my money on, but it's just like, wow, like, dang, gang, I really, um, really had to sit through that and, um, hit that job. Second thing that was really bothering me, my car. I swear to God, my car knows when I get paid because it wanted to, um, tweak out on me. And tweak out is, it sounds aggressive. Honestly, the um, whatchamacallit blinker went out and I had to replace that. Get it serviced, get it replaced. And honestly, that didn't even come from my pocket for real because the person who, um, <laughs> is this too much? We'll see. The person who was um, trying to look at my light to see what was wrong with it accidentally broke the light fixture. So in the mix of me buying my own light bulb, they were like gonna service the um, lights fixture and replace it for free because they broke it. Did that mean I had to go um, driving around with a broken, um, whatchamacallit light for like a day and a half? Yes. Was that the end of the world? No, because <laughs> God be on my side for real. Like the way I did not have to stress about that. I didn't have the extra um, plate space to really stress about that for real. So I really didn't have the time to, so it ended up being worthless to stress about in the first verse. But still, that really did kind of sting because I had to go to work with like a broken, um, a blinker little uh, headlight thing. I still didn't notice it. Like, <laughs> girl was parked the other way around and I only noticed it when I went and specifically saw it being broken. Now it's fixed. It's a week later. I, I still want to project whining energy, project crying energy, but like the way it's fixed, it's done, it's said for blase, blase, blase. Next thing that um, kind of hurt my, 
financial self-esteem. It was my teeth. <laughs> yes, a girl needed a whole um root canal, <laughs> cavity filling, and had to go multiple times. So yes, I did feel like a big girl putting on my big girl panties, um, paying for my own dental work, and you know, not gonna lie, paid the extra fifty for the um <laughs> the laughing gas because I was nervous. Cause what is a um. What is a root canal? Not gonna lie, I definitely had one before. I just tells you about the state of my teeth. But anyways, I finally got that said and done with. It was a nice little, it was a nice little entire check. Of course, I didn't pay it all at once, but still, that would have mm, kind of injured my savings a little. But see, that's what I'm really grateful for. I'm grateful for that didn't take me out, especially when I was unemployed. When I was unemployed for real, I don't know if I just didn't have these problems or I had more support for these issues or concrete with like financial stability. It's really getting weird out here, girl. Like, <laughs> I don't know how y'all doing it, but I'm broke with some Anyways, it just reminds me to be grateful in my blessings. Really see what it be for real. Um, extending my, not placation, because I don't placate for real, but in life, I like to lean into the adventure. Whenever stuff is hitting the fan and life not really going right for real, instead of choosing the panic, which is my automatic response, I'm choosing to lean into it. Find my joy, find my peace, centering myself. Also, coming into this new era of sky, Still don't have a name for it, still don't have a title for it, but like it's happening. It's in it's in the mix, it's in the presence, like we're present with it. Like you're catching I don't I don't even know how to describe that for real. We're cooking dinner right now. It's hot dogs and cheesy fries. Don't be jealous. What what, what did I say all that money stuff to say? To be relatable. Like I wanted to buy my own groceries and found it inconvenient that I needed cash money to do so. Needed cash money to uh put my little uh pick up grocery thing. I personally want to get better at not only feeding myself, but buying groceries for myself. It's not necessarily on me to do that all the way. It's just something I want to get good in practice. Like eventually, I want to know how to feed myself day in, day out. You know, thinking of meal ideas, planning out dinners and lunches and breakfast. I don't know what where the air quotes are coming from. Like it's literally regular breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I just need to be more responsible and figure out how to do that for myself. Yes, I was doing it in college, but more so, more so to a convenient extent. Like I'm not saying I'm Dave Ramsey. What's that man? Chef Gordon, the Australian whose blood pressure is up to here. Yeah, is that all I had to say? Yeah, girl, don't ever look at me and think everything's perfect. I have so many people looking up to me, bro. So many, especially young black girls, when they see me like literally at my job, they be like, ah, I wanna be you when I grow up. I'm like, girl. <laughs> Thank you. But it's not easy. It's not always pretty. And just because I look pretty, doesn't mean it's always pretty. Anyways, I'm breaking a sweat. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys next time. Love you.